We here at CFA find die crack errors on Lincoln Synths with some regularity. And today we're going to show you what to look for so that you can find them too. And we're also going to show you what they might be worth. Hey everybody, CFA back with you. Today we are going to talk about another error that you can find on your Lincoln Sense that can be worth more than face value if you know what to look for. All right, today we're going to talk about die cracks. I'm going to talk a little bit about how and why they happen at the Mint. I'm going to talk about what you need to look for to make sure that you've actually found one. And then we're also going to talk about what they can be worth. What might you get for a die crack Lincoln Scent error if you find one? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how die cracks get onto the coins to begin with. Okay, so to understand how die cracks form on coins, we need to first kind of have a little bit of understanding about how the coins are produced. Now at the mint, there are coin dies that have the design of the coin on them and they are pressed onto a blank planchet, which then becomes the coin. The design is transferred through the high pressure onto the blank to make the coin. Now, sometimes under that intense pressure, the dies will actually form a crack, a die crack. Now, when it is transferred to the coin, if that crack is there, the extra metal will actually get squeezed up into the crack and it will form a high point on the coin. It actually kind of becomes part of the coin design at that point. Now, the coins are produced at such a high rate that they're not often caught quickly when these die cracks form and many will get into circulation once a crack does form on a die before it is caught by the men employees and then changed out with a die that does not have cracks. Okay, so that's how they're formed at the mint. Now, what do I need to look for to know that that is actually what I found on a coin? Well, you're gonna wanna remember that it's a high point on the design or on the coin, all right? It's not gonna be a scratch, it's not gonna be a gouge, it's gonna be a high point that looks like extra metal. Now, we here at CFA, when we're searching our scents and other coins for errors and varieties, and die cracks. Uh, we use a magnifier or a scope to ensure that's what we have. Now sometimes a scratch can fool you and, and other post mint damage can fool you. So what we do is we'll change the angle a little bit in the lighting and see, uh, see if we can see a gouge and make sure that it's extra metal. And you can also run a toothpick very gently along it and you can tell if it's a bump or a gouge. At least I'm able to quite often, depending on the size of the die crack. Okay, now going through scents, how common are these to find? I can tell you from my experience here at CFA, we coin roll hunt boxes and then I go back through later and I look with a magnifier for rare varieties and errors such as these die cracks. And out of a whole box, which is 2,500 pennies, I may find one or two or sometimes three, something in that range, but I typically will find one. So they are not common, but I wouldn't say that they can't be found if you know what to look for. Now, if you do find one, what do you think they might be worth? Well, I could tell you I was curious myself what they might actually be worth because I was collecting them and saving them in my own collection here at CFA from what we've gone through in boxes. And I put four of them for sale at online auction and they sold. And they sold for about a dollar a piece. Now these weren't dramatic die cracks by any means. They were fairly small and light, but they were die crack errors. So from the penny I got them for to a dollar a piece, that's a pretty good return on my one cent, right? Now here's some others I found at online auction. You've got a 1982 here with a small crack going from the bottom corner of the memorial. And I will tell you that is the most common place to find them, especially on, on these low, early 80s and more modern uh, scents. They will often be coming right from the corners of the memorial and sometimes I've even found them with all four corners of the memorial in the reverse. So the reverse is the most common place, but they can be found anywhere on the coin. But this 82 right here, somebody paid over three and a half dollars for when you include the shipping, and that's just for a modern coin. So that, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good return right there. You can also see here a 1988 with a pretty good little die crack in it, and somebody paid about two dollars for that when you include the shipping. Again, pretty good return on one cent. And here's a brand new penny, a 2019 that had a die crack near the shield 
and uh, it went for over a buck and a half. Again, pretty good return for finding a die crack on a Lincoln cent. Now a lot of people will say, okay, wow, you made a dollar, you made a dollar and a half, but I mean, it's the return on investment, right? I mean, I paid one penny for some of these and they're worth a dollar. That's a hundred times the value of what I originally thought it might be. So if you know what to look for, uh, they're out there. They can be found. There's collectors that will pay for these. There's a lot of people that enjoy collecting all types of varieties and errors, including die cracks. So, so if you're patient and you take the time to look closely at your Lincoln Sense, these can be found and you can make a little bit of money off them too. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little video on die crack errors. All right, they can be found. We find them quite often and uh, they can be worth quite a bit more than face value. But if you have any more questions on die cracks or other errors you can find on your Lincoln Sense or other coins, put it down in the comments below. We'd love to try and help you out or maybe somebody else in the community uh, can help you out. All right, also keep in mind we have a lot of other videos on rare varieties and errors to search for. All right, I will attach a link to our playlist down below in the description of this video. I advise you to go check it out and uh, you can find some cool stuff that you may be able to find in your change. All right, also, Mrs. CFA and I do a live stream every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time where we go through boxes of pennies and nickels mostly and we look for cool stuff. We look for rare varieties and errors. We look for low mintage and different things and uh, we have a lot of fun and we do some giveaways. So hit that notification bell so you'll know exactly when we go live and you can come join us. There's a lot of great people in the chat to meet within the coin community. All right, we appreciate all your support for coins for amateurs. Thank you again for watching and as always, keep checking that change.